All right, so the Twitter page has been like hella weird and just releasing their tweets and stuff. I think honestly they made a mistake and released it too early, but I'm not complaining. So they went ahead and actually gave us the arts for the Destiny of Vanessa and Zora that are releasing next week. Crazy man. So um, both the units are going to be dropping on the 28th and going to March 14th, which is not too bad. Look at Vanessa, my god. I mean, we're getting here, okay? We're getting this unit 100% without a doubt, even if she is bad, but I don't think she is bad if I remember correctly, so I'm actually very excited. Finally, a meta Vanessa, which is awesome. And then also, we are getting the boy Zora. I mean, Zora, we actually just looked into his kit like two days ago, and this unit is broken on paper, but I kind of want to go over what they can do once again and see how exactly are they going to fit into the meta on JP and KR next week. Um, but global players, man, you have these units to look forward towards. They are going to be insane, if I remember correctly. And uh, like I said, okay, like two months ago, I said that we are going to get to that point in time where it's just going to be back to back to back to back to back, nonstop hype units because of where story mode is progressing in Black Clover. So, I mean... Come on, man. I'm, I'm very excited. Once we get to, like, that hype arc, it's going to be non-stop. Like, almost every unit, I imagine, is going to be must summon. Either, like, it's hella cool character designs or, like, characters I'm a fan of. Or they're just, like, broken units, which I can't imagine. So, we're going to check out Vanessa and Zora Velenu. Drop, like, hit the sub as well. And um, let's go over to Leaks to kind of reiterate what they can do once again. Now, we checked out Zora. So, let's see, look at Vanessa real quick to see what exactly she is offering. Because if I remember correctly, this unit is going to be insane. So, Thread of Fate Vanessa here. So, Destiny Vanessa was the cat and everything. Skill 1 is going to be giving uh, single target damage. It gives a special point increase to the ally with the highest all attack, which is not too bad. Second skill, it is going to be giving a buff to your entire enemy team. X percent chance to grant blessing of protection to all allies for X amount of turns. Every Vanessa has this in the game, by the way. Um, at least I want to say. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure the second, uh, the SSR swimsuit Vanessa that Global does not have yet. Yet being keyword. Pretty sure she has this skill as well. And then the ultimate here is giving a buff to an ally. Granting invulnerability to the ally with, um, or to an ally for X amount of turns. And then also X percent chance to grant remove X debuffs to an ally. Not too bad. Overall, I think so far from what I'm reading, it is pretty basic, but let's hope it does get kind of spicy here. Passive, if all allies have the sense attribute with a green typing, grants threat of fate to defender mages at the start of the battle. Okay, so this unit is going to work alongside Mary Leona, which is great because I'm not going to lie, like if you don't have Mary Leona Max 2, she can be a little bit underwhelming, which is where I have her. Um, like I would say in comparison to... In comparison to all the festivals that we have right now, that being Julius, Black Ops, and Mary Leona, in my honest opinion, I would go ahead and rate Mary Leona like the least. I'm talking about just like, you know, initial copy. I'm not talking like Max Duper or anything like that. I think Mary Leona is probably the least one that I'm like most interested in. Um, and then I'll put Julius first and then Black Ops second. But I mean, she's still a great unit nonetheless, right? Awakening passive is grants a X percent increased mobility buff to defender mages at the start of the battle. Not too bad. I'll take it. And then upon dying, grant a special point increased buff to all allies. Okay, so looking pretty good so far. I'm not gonna lie, looking really, really good. All right, and then the partner skill is attacking after removing immortality from an enemy, so it is gonna be countering Black Gossa, which is huge. Um, and then green more skill and skill two is giving your entire team a total defense buff for expansion. Okay, so <laughs> it's very funny because I think the SR Vanessa has both blessing of protection and total defense on her second skill whereas this unit is having the blessing of protection on the second skill and then you need the green more skill to have the total defense as well which i'll take it i'll definitely take it but kind of weird kind of weird and then the green more passive is if blessing of protection is present on yourself grant a reduced damage taken so damage reduction debuff uh, i'm sorry buff for yourself not for your entire team a little i really wish it was but then again, it is green, so most likely you are going to be running the Charlotte with um, this unit and Mary Leona, which is going to be insane, first off. And then the third of fate is granting immortality for 1 HP if HP is equal to or lower than 30%. Okay, so she is pretty much giving um, third of fate to, yeah, to Mary Leona. So Mary Leona is going to have immortality for one turn, which I will take because that unit, especially Max Dupe, can do some crazy stuff. Man... I, re I actually just got my fifth universal dupe shard like the other day and I was going to save it but now I might actually have to max do Mariliona. Hmm, I'll see. I'll see. If you, in the comment section, let me know if you want me to max do Mary Leona because I might just have to do I might just have to do that in order to run this Vanessa alongside her, which 
you know it's gonna be pretty pretty cool to do anyway so i'm actually pretty excited now let's take a look at the homie zora which again if i remember is extremely extremely broken okay so zora here is where is he black wolf zora so skill one is giving a single target damage granting reflection trap level x to the ally with the highest all attack rates for under turns i remember yeah this unit is broken <laughs> skill two is going to be giving your entire team a buff x percent chance to grant an ally debuff immunity for x amount of turns inflicting a special point reduction debuff on all enemies and then inflicting a magic attack uh, reduction level x debuff on the entire enemy team i remember this unit is cracked okay so i'm actually very excited to use this unit because again i said this before the other day but there's not a lot of units or i don't think there's any unit at least not ones that come to mind that have magic attack reduction on an aoe basis so uh the swimsuit you know that is available out on global right now the, the free one from event pvp that unit has a physical attack re uh reduction debuff aoe as well but he does not have magic attack so yeah this unit is going to be quite quite fun to bring because like every unit is damn near magic attack so I will take that. That is going to be super duper fun to run. All right, and then the ultimate here is surrounding himself with magic circles, granting a buff to a designated ally, granting an ally reflection trap level X for X amount of turns, also giving an X percent chance to grant an ally increased defense for X amount of turns, and then also inflicting a disarm level X debuff on the enemy was the highest all attack. I'll take it. And then reflection trap level one, two, and three is mitigating damage taken by X percent, and then also reflecting impact onto the enemy so and then you also inflict a special point minus one debuff upon taking damage so yeah this unit is going to be insane low key this is noel skill page but built into the kit because if you remember noel season 5 noel skill page the unit that we have on global right now that unit skill page is anytime she is hit then she inflicts a special point minus one debuff on all enemy team uh this it seems like it's gonna be a single target but still having this built in is actually really good i like it so i'm actually glad they don't have it aoe because that would have just been god tier broken so i i think is broken but not overly op you know what i mean so i'll take it and then passive is if all allies have the blue attribute grant yourself a speed plus x at the start of the battle okay i'm so excited to use both these units man i think they're gonna be great it's bringing back mono blue and then it's also bringing back you know it's also adding on to mono green because right now like mono green is great but just having merely going to have that immortality and then alongside with vanessa i think it's just going to make her even better um and, and i think that's what she needs honestly so i will definitely take it and then the awakening passive is if reflection trap is present on yourself at the start of the turn grant a damage reduction buff for x amount of turns it does not stack and then if you are running mono blue inflict buff immunity on the enemy was the highest all attack for one turn at the start of the battle which i will take that's huge that is huge uh partner skill is also removing immortality so both him and vanessa are gonna have the exact same partner skill which i'll take it and then green more skill and skill two is giving an ally reflection trap level x for x amount of turns green more passive is x percent chance to grant all allies x percent increased defense buff for x amount of turns when attacked by an attacking class unit does not stack i'll take it i'll take it man between him and vanessa i don't know which one i am more interested in i mean honestly i think i think i had to go with the boy zora right just from reading his kid and everything i mean it's offering some new mechanics as well it's a reflecting trap it seems so like totally broken so i am very excited he most likely will be a debuff unit while vanessa will be a support type unit which i will take but i mean overall man i yeah i mean both units are gonna be great i will get them we're gonna have fun we're gonna see which one is better. Merely Yona is gonna be getting an insane buff. You know, Mono Blue is coming back. So, yeah, let me know in the comment section, JP Kara players, which one are you looking forward towards the most? I think a lot of people. I mean, look, if we're if we're talking priorities, right? <laughs> if we're talking priorities, then obviously you know the answer. But if we're talking from a meta point of view, then maybe Zora. Who knows? Maybe maybe she's meta as well. But 100%, she will be my number one priority for two reasons okay i'm not gonna if you know you know <laughs> but um anyways i will end it there let me know your thoughts i think both units are gonna be great you know just they're gonna offer some i wouldn't say like new refreshing mechanics into the game i mean zora is at least but i think vanessa is definitely bringing stuff that merrily on needs while zora is gonna be bringing in some new mechanics and adding in you know bringing mono blue back into the game which you know hasn't been a thing for for a minute so i will take it and um, who knows, maybe this could be the end of Black Asta because both units are removing immortality, which is huge, which is very, very huge. So we'll see. We'll have to see. All right, I'll end it there. Y'all take care of a good one. Baby girl Vanessa, once again, she will be mine. All right, take care. Peace.